Worldwide reaction today to a dangerous move in Syria. Chemicals, deadly sarin gas, loaded onto weapons near an airfield there. One drop of sarin can kill within minutes, so world leaders are mobilizing tonight, deciding what they are going to do. And ABC senior Affair, foreign affairs correspondent Martha Raddatz takes us inside that story. Today, Hillary Clinton overseas, trying to find some diplomatic way to end this increasingly dangerous conflict. 20 months of fighting, 40,000 lives lost, and now the chilling possibility of an air attack with deadly nerve agents. There is no question that we remain very concerned that the, the regime might very well consider the use of chemical weapons. A senior U.S. official saying that over the weekend, the Syrian military loaded components of the nerve gas sarin into bombs on or near Syrian airfields. They have not loaded the bombs onto aircraft, but the threat remains. Once the chemicals are poured into weapons, artillery shells, bombs that can be dropped from airplanes, they can be good up to almost two months. The Syrian government claims it will not use chemical weapons, but President Assad is feeling the pressure from opposition forces who have gained strength and are now moving on the capital, Damascus. Jeremy Bowen with our BBC partners is there tonight and reports Assad's forces are waging a fierce defense. Throughout the day and after dark when I'm speaking to you, there are quite steady uh, explosions of shell fire, outgoing artillery fire going into the, the suburbs around the center of the city where I am. Residents are caught in a worsening crossfire. People who came from areas that are being shelled, they are on the street. Uh, many children, sometimes you see them crying, all people are sleeping on the ground. But nothing in this horrific war has gotten the attention of U.S. officials more than this chemical weapons threat. These reports may mean that the United States and our allies are facing the prospect of an imminent use of weapons of mass destruction in Syria, and this may be the last warning we get. I can tell you planning for all sorts of contingencies is already underway, but military action would not be easy. It could take upwards of 75,000 troops to secure those chemical weapons, which no one is eager to provide. But President Obama, Diane, has warned that using those weapons is a red line.